Our genre is nonfiction, and of course, we know our essential question for the week is, how do animals help each other? And we're going to read about some unusual animal partners. Animal Teams by Rachel Mann. Can a small bird help a big giraffe? Can a shrimp help a fish? Yes, they can. These may seem like odd friends, but many animals work together in teams. These animals help each other in lots of ways. Let's find out how. Some, be some birds live off the backs of big animals. Why do the animals let the birds stay? The birds help. They eat bugs off the animal's skin. The big animals help the birds too. They keep the birds safe. And it is a good deal for them because they have lots of sweet bugs to eat. The goby fish and the blind shrimp make a good team. The shrimp can't see. So the goby help, the goby look out for danger, and the shrimp stay close. When the goby flicks its tail, it means it's time to hide. The shrimp help the goby too. It will go into a hole to hide. It lets the goby hide here too. The goby hides until it's safe to go out. Zebras and wildebeests live on the hot plains. They both like to eat grass all day. These animals are seen together a lot. Why? They stay together because they can help each other find fresh grass to eat. They also help each other keep safe. If a zebra or a wildebeest spots danger, it runs. This tells the rest to run too. Many fish want to eat little clownfish. It needs a safe home. So it lives inside a sea anemone. The clownfish is safe because most fish stay away. Why? The sea anemone stings, but the clownfish cannot feel its sting. This reminds us of Finding Nemo, doesn't it? The clownfish helps its partner too. It swims in and out, in and out. It chases away big fish that could hurt its pal. A caterpillar needs to be safe so it can grow. Who will help? Ants will. Ants see the caterpillar and take it to a safe place. Why do the ants do this? The caterpillar has a sweet liquid on its skin. The ants like the taste. So the caterpillar, soon the caterpillar will be a pretty blue butterfly. When a little cleaner fish wants to eat, it looks for bigger fish to clean. Why? It gets a free meal when it cleans. A cleaner fish eats the pests off of other fish. The big fish want to be cleaned. They line up and wait for the cleaner fish to get to them. Hmm. Like going into the car wash. One is big and one is small, but the two are a team. When animals team up, they do what is best for both of them. Let's meet the author. Meet the author. Rachel Mann loves learning about animals, especially animals who act in unexpected ways. She really enjoyed researching and writing animal teams because she learned that animals help and need each other just as people do. Author's Purpose Rachel Mann wanted to write about animals who do interesting things. Write about an animal that does something you find interesting. Respond to reading. Retell. Use your own words to retell the important details in animal teams. Text evidence. 1. What is the main idea of animal teams? 2. Why do some birds sit on the backs of big animals? 3. How can you tell that animal teams is nonfiction? Make connections. 
What animals have you seen together? How did they help each other? And that's the end of our nonfiction story about animal teams.